I've got some more old pennies here. Very heavy box. There should be 900 in there. Uh, I'm going to be searching through them and then adding them to these boards. Okay, let's get into this. I'm hoping there'll be no 1967s. Oh, that's tougher than I thought. Uh, I'll try and cut it off like a lid. Oh, God. Oh, yes. Look at that. Ah, right. Are they going to be loose? They certainly are. Loose. Looks like the box had... Some kind of old tablet in it at one point. Oh, I should have turned that over before I opened it, shouldn't I? Okay, let's go. Okay, that's the camera set up there. Let's move this over here. And I can just grab a few at a time and see what we've got. I'm going to do about 250 in this video. Okay, we start with a 1930 King George V. 1917, that's another King George V. Very common, that one. Another George V. 1916, looking for the recessed ear, where the ear has been recessed into the coin. And I also have a broken tooth. One of those beads, one of those teeth up there will be broken in half. And we don't call them denticles in this country. As people have suggested, I should call them denticles. All right, 1946, look for a little dash up there after the E. But there's nothing there in the right place. King George the Sixth, that one is another George the Fifth. Well, that's a bit dirty. Nineteen twenty-six. I think that can go into the dirty mug. This is my Macamula mug. This is where I keep all my dirty coins. I don't like cleaning coins, but some people do. So when it's full, I'll give that away. Also, I'll be giving every coin here that I put down on these boards. I'll be giving them away. If you want to know how to get your hands on this lot, then just stay tuned. Right, let's carry on. There's a 1913, is that? I think it's three, yeah, 1913. George V, another George V, 1935. Another George V, oh, another 1935. Two in a row. Oh, what we got here? That's Greek. Greek coin there. What's the day on there? That's an old one. 1882. There's some mint marks on there as well. So well, a little bit scratched at the back of his head, but that's not bad, is it? That would be 10 lepta, I believe. Well, that's nice. Well, that goes down on the board as well. All right, there's a 1920. Looking for the ultra rare one with a big gap between the A and the B. Oh, that's common. All right, 1948. Last one in the first handful is. So 1904, so that will be Edward the Seventh. Okay, nothing new to add to the dates, but this 1904 I've just found is slightly better than that one, so we'll upgrade that. And we've got this Greek ten lepta to go there. Apart from the pennies, there's lots of halfpennies out at the top. We've got some threepenny bits, some three pences. There's some sixpences there, a couple of shillings, some Australian pennies there. A nice old 1921 florin, that 10 leptas we just found. I said 1921 for this florin, didn't I? It's actually 1922, George V, so that will be 50% silver. I'll get that back down there. I've had lots of new subscribers recently, and if you're one of them, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. Okay, all right, a few more this time. All right. There is a new one. It's a 1966. Uh, 64. There's a 1922. Now, for the 1922, look at the trident. If the middle prong is not touching one of those beads around the edge, you could have a really valuable coin. But sadly, this one is touching, so it's just a common one. There's Victoria, 1901. Uh, Edward, oh, Edward, George V again. There's another 1917 there. 1891. Queen Victoria. We've got a 1936. That's a George V. Another Victoria. Another 1901 there. Another George V. 1936. 
We've got a 1919. Any mint marks? No, I'm still looking for an H and a KN for the 1919. All right, there's another 1920. That's a common one. 1915. Looking for the recessed ear on the 1915, which is rarer than the uh, 1916, but that's not one. Might be a little bit of an upgrade though. I'll have a look. There's a 1902. It's a high tide 1902, but uh, it twisted that one. Uh, 1935, 64, there's an 1899 Victoria, 1936, ah there's a jersey, Ballywick of jersey, 1 12th of a shilling, 1964, you usually get quite a few of these in these batches, I don't know why, my supplier doesn't know why either, nice, right there's another 1901, is that dirty enough for the dirty mug? Yeah, get in there. Right, there's Edward the Seventh. Oh, I thought that was something weird, just a few scratches. Um, what was that, 1902? Uh, the tide level is high, so that's a common 1902. Oh, that was a Victorian then, 1937. That's definitely going the dirty mug. And this last one is an Elizabeth 64. I'm going to have to make a new row for the jersey ones. That's the first one in this uh, series. And this 1915 does have a little bit more detail than the one down there, so I'll swap that. Okay, so how could you acquire this lot down here? Well, comment on this video. This is video number three of this series. Video number one is this one, and video number two is this one. So that's this one here. And this one here, and obviously the one that you're watching as well. And the links to part one and two will be in the description. I'm not going to number my videos anymore, either in the thumbnail or the title. I just think you get less clicks that way. It's as simple as that. Okay, so what you have to do is comment on the videos. Uh, then uh, at the end, when there's just four left, so I've got four spaces, what I'll do then, I'll top them up with my own coins, so this board will be full, and then we'll give them away. So what you have to do is comment on this one, comment on the other two, then I'll pick a video at random at the end, then I'll pick a comment from that video at random with a YouTube comment picker, and whoever, ma whoever made that comment will win this lot. Okay, hope you get that. All right, let's get some more. Right, let's go. George the Fifth, 1935. There's a 1962. 1937. Uh, there's a 1917 again. 1920. And let's have a closer look at that. Uh, let me just freeze that. That colon top dot does look a bit weird doesn't it let me give it a clean let's just see if it's dirt i've given it a bit of a rub let me just freeze that image if i can yeah that's very strange could be just damage doesn't look like it though i think i need to put that to one side and come back to that there's a strange mark on the king's head as well there but i can't feel anything just discolored anyway very odd Okay, I've put that to one side for further investigation, so let's carry on. 1906 there. 1913. 39. Another 39. There's a 1946. I've got a little mark up there. A little dash. No, let me go and get one of mine and I'll show you what I mean. This is the one I've just found and this is the one with the little dash on there. So let me just zoom into that. Uh, you can see a little dash after the letter E, known as the 1946 dot penny. And something in this condition, about 20, 25 pounds, something like that. It's not too bad, that one. But there's no dot on that one, just a common one. 1961. Well, look at that. That's got to be a jersey, hasn't it? Yes, 1946, one twelfth of a penny, and that is in lovely condition. One twelfth of a shilling, not a penny. King George the Sixth. 
Nice. Right, 19, 28. 1945. If you look at the 9 on the 1945, sometimes you can see that they're double struck. Quite hard to find and quite hard to see. You need to clean it off. And I've got loads of 1945s. So I'm going to make a video going through the, all of them to see if I can find any. But at the moment, you can't really tell. Well, that's terrible condition. 1862. Uh, 1963. There's another 1945. 1890, might be a little bit better than the one on the board. You can clearly see the lighthouse and the ship there. And 1917. This 1890 is slightly better than that one. So I'll swap that. In fact, is that dirty? It is, isn't it? Oh, I can go in the dirty mug. And another jersey, this time 1946. And I've just realised I haven't put a 1902 down there. Concentrate! <laughs> <laughs> and of course that is now another bingo line. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab some more. And yes, I must concentrate. Okay then, 1966, 1935, uh, there's a 1913, what's that? No, I thought there was something in the corner there, but obviously there's no mint marks on a 1913. They're all made at Tower Hill in London. Okay, 1966 again, 1911, Looking for the Gobi X, where the king's head has got a, well, the king's neck has got a hollow at the back of it, known as the 1911 hollow neck penny, but that isn't. That's just a standard one. Uh, another 66, a shiny one. 1928. Well, there's another 1911. That's not hollow neck either. And that is 1893. That's definitely going to be an upgrade. Oh, yes. That's not bad at all. 1893. Yeah, still got quite a nice little bit of detail there. For 1893, that's quite good. Oops. Right. 1961. 63. Oops. 64. So 1880, 1882 is a two, isn't it? Yep, it is. 1883 is what we're looking for. Got a better 1882 than that, though. There's a 1944. Hallelujah. That's the third video, and that's the first time a 1944 has turned up. I mean, it's not even rare. It's not even scarce. Over 42 million of these were minted. Quite common. But that last one has turned up for the board. Right, 61. What's that, 1905? Edward VII. 64. There's a shiny one. And the 1966. 1963. And another 1963. This 1911 is certainly better than that one. So we'll place that. The 1893 is a really nice upgrade. Much better. And at last we have a 1944. And another bingo line. Calm down bingo graphic. God he got a bit excited then. Let's see what we need then. The 1864 that is findable. The 1869 and the 71 they are quite rare so we're going to struggle to find those. But the 78, the 83 and the 87 shouldn't have any problem finding those in these hunts. Okay, the 1919H should find that. KNs are going to be a little bit more difficult to find. Now we've got a 1926 and a 1932. They are quite common. I know I've found a 1926, but it was dirty, so I put it in the dirty mug. 50 and 51, they're going to be hard to find. 
and the 1953 that should be findable okay let's get some more a big handful this time probably too many drop one down there what is it 66 oh, oops banging the camera now 66 yes yeah, 66 right 63 there's a 1940 you're looking for the double line because that's a common one yeah double line is common if it's single line slightly harder to find not that much though there's a 1920 very stripy that's where the um, alloy hasn't mixed properly it's a straight line isn't it yep that's a common type 1920 though small gap Right, we've got here another 1920. What's that damage? Is it damage or is it a... Could be a bit of corrosion. Could even be a lamination error. Let's get it under the microscope. There it is. All right. Could be corrosion. Could be a lamination error. Could have been done at the minting process. Well, let me know in the comments what you think about that. While I've got the microscope out, let me just put that 1920 under there like that. Oh, yeah. What on earth could that be? I don't think it is damage. It's definitely not the rare variety. It's a very small gap between the A and the B, but something gone wrong there, and I think that could be done when it was minted. What do you think? People say, what sort of microscope do you use? It's just one of these, one of these cheap ones. I can't remember if I got it from eBay or Amazon now. About four years ago, all you do, plug it into your laptop and record the screen. Couldn't be easier. Cost me about 15 quid. Now, this one could even be a crack in the die that's got water in there or something like that. Could be as simple as that. But I'll put that aside as well for further investigation. And let's carry on. <laughs> Typical. Another 1944. Right, 1965, 1938. What have we got here? 1921. And there's a really dirty one. What's that? 1927. In the dirty mug. There we go. Right. 66. 67. 68. 69. 68. There's a 1921. That's not really that dirty, is it? 1937. There's a 1912. No H mint mark on that though. And there's a. Oh, it's not dirty. Oh dear, it's corroded. But I can go in there as well. And what do we got here? That is a George the Third halfpenny. And if you can see a date, it will be below the king's head. It's either going to be 1806 or 1807, but they are quite common. I've had quite a lot of these turn up, actually. They're slightly smaller than a penny. Compare that there. But uh, terrible condition. Not going to be worth anything much in that condition. 1938. 32. Is it 32 we want? Yes, a 32. Nine's full of gunk. But it is another one we need. A bit dirty there as well, but it's got to go on the board. Another 1913. 31. What's this? A 19. I think that's just damage on that. 1929. Yep, just a bit of damage. 1929. 37. 66, 35, there's a 1912, has that got a mint mark on it? No, it hasn't. That's just a bit of damage there. All right, what have we got here? Come on. 1921, 1945, 07. Edward the seventh. Twenty-one again. Oh, I'm really dropping them. Too many in my hand. I must put this lot down. I'm dropping them. There we go. Right. What was this? Nineteen twenty-one. Yeah. 
I got 1916. Not a recessed deer as a Victoria. And that definitely is damage. 1899. And what we got here? Is it a jersey? Looks like it. Yep, 1957. 1957, one 12th of a shilling. That 1932 makes yet another bingo line. And we've got another jersey. This time, was it 1957? And I'll put that George the Third halfpenny down there. Somebody might want it. There's my channel members scrolling through there. Only 99p a month if you want to help me out. And 4 99 a month if you want to be a super patroller. That really helps. And thank you to Ian and Igor for being my first super patrollers. Thank you very much. Right, let's grab some more. Okay. All right, let's just move this back in the right place. Get it central a bit more on that. There we go. Right, here we go then. Okay, 1935. Another 1935. Three in a row? Yes! Three 1935s in a row. Four? Definitely not. 1965. 30 years out on that one. What's that, 1899? That's not very nice, is it, Victoria? Yeah, another eight, 1944. As soon as one turns up, they all turn up. What have we got here? 1914. 61. Oh, there's a 65. I think that's been polished in. Yeah, that's been polished. I don't like polished coins. So that goes in there. Resume on 1938. 39, 40, no, another 39. Right, we have 1966, there's a 1919, no mint mark though. And there's an Irish penny, hen and chicks, and that is 1964, 1937. Oh, there's a 46. Have we got a little mark up there? A little dot, little dash, little apostrophe shaped thing? No. No, definitely not. All right, there's Edward the 7th, 1910. Oh, what's that? 10 son teams with the A mint mark, and it's going to be Napoleon the 3rd. That's not bad. It's not bad at all, that one. French coin, 1855. Very nice portrait there, Napoleon the Third. Do find quite a few of those, but usually in worse condition than that. All right, 1918, and last one in this handful is a 1916, uh, not a recessed deer. Okay, that 1935's not very nice, and that one is better, so I'll replace that. And the first Irish coin. 1964 and the first French one this 10 centimes from 1855 and that can go there okay that's going to do it for this video we've only looked at just over 100 coins so far I know I said 250 at the beginning but the video is over 20 minutes that's quite long enough so I'm going to leave it there thank you for watching everybody please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in the next one it shouldn't be too long before I do the next video I've got all these to look through and I can't wait but I won't look at them until the day I make the video.